a Waddy Cab Jed here from Thailand Myland. A lot of people only look at my latest videos and don't look back on my older videos so I've decided to put a few relevant ones on here again for anyone who might have missed them the first time around. This one is from November of last year and it's about how safe it is to live here in Thailand. beautiful day here in uh, Wahin. Today's video is going to be about uh, how safe it is to live here in Thailand. Uh, one thing that's a major concern when people decide to visit or live in another country is how safe it's going to be. Uh, does the country have a, a crime problem? I've lived and worked in many countries over the years and most of them I felt quite safe in. Uh, but some of them uh, I felt not quite so safe and I probably wouldn't go back to those countries again. I worked in uh, Papua New Guinea uh, in a gold mine uh, when I was uh, younger and I was driving from the camp to the mine and I was ambushed by some tribesmen that didn't like the idea of a mining company raping their country and making billions of dollars while well, they and their families uh, lived in poverty and I was lucky to escape with a badly damaged vehicle and probably my life. If it wasn't for this, uh, the camp security uh, arriving in time, I'm not sure if I'd be here to tell you this tale. I've been mugged in Jamaica and I've been beaten up on a few occasions in my country of birth, the UK. In the Philippines, I was scammed out of money in Cambodia, uh, my hotel room in Phnom Penh was robbed and a few days later in the beach town of Cynicville, someone grabbed my phone off the table and disappeared into the crowd while I was having dinner. In Cozumel in Mexico, my bag was stolen from the beach when I went for a swim. Luckily, I'd been warned about this uh, type of thing happening and I'd left my valuables in the hotel safe. So how safe is Thailand? I've been living in Thailand for five and a half years now and I can honestly say that in that time I'd never been a victim of any crime or ever felt uh, unsafe here. That's not to say there's no crime here, there'll always be crime and, and criminals in any country but I've never felt threatened since I've been here. Down in the south of Thailand, uh, close to the Malaysian border, uh, there's some uh, social unrest due to Muslim insurgents. Uh, tourists are not targeted though, uh, but personally I don't go to that part of Thailand. Um, it's not a place that I'd like to visit. And there also there's been some horrendous crimes here. Only a few months ago, 37 people were killed, including 22 children in a mass killing in a school. A few years before that, in Nakhon Ratchasima, uh, 27 people were killed in a mass shooting in a shopping centre. Strangely enough, I'd been in that shopping centre early that day, uh, as I was staying in a hotel opposite uh, the shopping centre. And I learned of the killing when I looked out my hotel window to see the streets filled with police cars and ambulances. Guns are a big thing here in Thailand. It's estimated that there's over 10 million firearms in the country, with 15% of the population owning a firearm. Having said that, I've never seen a gun in all the time that I've been living here or visiting here. And there are murders here, but when this does happen, it's generally ties killing ties. And many murders are committed during domestic disputes or family disturbances and often because of the drug Yaba, 
or methamphetamine as it's known in the West. It's getting more prevalent here, which is probably why crime is on the increase a little bit here. Ties have a big thing about losing face, especially Thai men. So many crimes that are reported in the news can be attributed to someone losing face and being humiliated and then reacting accordingly. As I've said, I've personally never witnessed a, a fight or any violence in all the time that I've been coming to Thailand. I've seen it on the news where there's been fights with expats involved, either fighting each other or in altercations with Thai men, or sometimes a lady boy. Whereas when I lived in countries like the UK, Australia, the USA, it was a regular occurrence uh, on the streets, in the pubs and clubs, and I saw it all the time. Now all places in Thailand are not the same. Obviously you go into the more rural towns, they're very, very safe. And uh, as I said, most places in Thailand are safe. In fact, nearly all places, every place I've ever visited, I've never felt threatened or felt that uh, uh, there was going to be a crime committed against me. It's just a very, very easy place to live. But if you go to Bangkok, for instance, the same as any capital city, same as New York or London or um, Sydney, wherever you go and it's a capital, uh, there's going to be more problems there uh, because there's going to be more people there uh, who can commit crimes. Uh, so capital cities or any cities are, 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 are always going to be uh, more crime in those areas. Same here uh, with places like um, Pattaya. Now, Pattaya has got a, a fairly bad reputation for um, problems in there when you, uh, for tourists. Uh, a lot of um, people, I've never seen it myself, uh, but from what I've read in the paper, there's pickpockets and uh, opportunist crimes, I suppose, where they'll try and steal from you. Uh, this happens a lot with ladyboys, don't ask me why, but uh, from what I've seen in the newspapers, when someone gets caught pickpocketing, uh, it's quite often a ladyboy, uh, not a lady or a man. So you do have to look out for, for things like that. With, in Pattaya with the ladyboys, what happens is, you know, you get four or five of them, you might think they're ladies even, because they, you can't tell the difference a lot of the time and uh, they'll come up and they'll come around you and say where are you from handsome man and start touching you maybe four or five of them and you think wow all these women like me but when you walk away um, maybe your wallet's gone or maybe they've uh, unhooked your chain when they're doing this to you they've unhooked the chain from your gold necklace and took that with them so yes it does happen opportunist crime is, is always going to be there uh, and I suppose uh, to some extent uh, places like Phuket are the same because they're very bigger and busier places, uh, same as Pattaya and Bangkok. Whereas places like Wahin, uh, it's very much unheard of uh, here uh, for any major crime or I speak with lots and lots of expats and they all feel the same way, they all feel very safe here and a lot of people that's why they come here to live uh, because of uh, uh, the safety factor. And I suppose another way to avoid problems here uh, don't ever confront um, a Thai man uh, if you, you know it could be that he says something to you and if you say something back to him and he loses face uh, you could end up um, in a lot of trouble and don't forget if the police are involved in anything like that they're always going to take the Thai person's uh, side uh, you won't get a look in you, you might have to pay some money and then he might take your side uh, but normally um, they only listen to the Thai version and that's the version they'll accept if there's a, a, a confrontation so don't ever make a Thai man lose face because uh, you could end up uh, in a lot of trouble yourself Another thing you do have to remember, so you don't get yourself in trouble if you're coming here to Thailand, never disrespect the king. You know, don't joke about it, don't say anything bad about um, the king, because you'll get in trouble with the people who will hear you, but you could also end up in prison, because it's against the law here to disrespect the king. Now, as I've been saying, for me, Thailand isn't very dangerous to live in at all. Um, I feel it's one of the safest countries in the world uh, for crime but 
where it does fall down is driving uh, the road safety there's virtually no rules here and very little police uh, doing their job and uh, trying to stop the carnage and it's not just uh, when you're driving it's also when you're crossing the road you have to be very very careful it's very dangerous there are zebra crossings but don't pay any attention to them uh, don't think the cars are going to stop they won't in fact I don't I don't stop at zebra crossings now because if I do I know there could be a car behind me going 90 kilometers an hour and he's not going to be able to stop in time and he's going to hit me because uh, I stopped because no one does stop so yes the roads are very dangerous um, there was uh, 20,000 people killed on the roads uh, in 2019 which was the last time we had uh, you know lots of tourists coming here uh, so that's the, the figures you take um, so 20,000 that's not a true figure because that is only the people who died at the scene of the accident it's not the people who go to hospital and later die uh, of their injuries I would think it'd probably be at least a third more uh, because of the people who die at the hospital maybe there's 30,000 and consider this uh, Thailand's population is very much the same as the UK's I think UK get you know it's in the 1,000 people maybe might die in the UK uh, from road injuries but uh, there's 30 times that amount here so keep that in mind if you're coming here it's not for me it's not dangerous for crime but it is dangerous for uh, being on the road I'm gonna put a video on now um, and it is quite alarming so if you don't want to watch it just fast forward I'm putting it on because I think you need to be aware if you're coming here that you have to watch everything you can't just drive like you do in your own country and think oh you know I, I can go through a green light and nothing's coming I check even when I go through a green light I go slowly and I'm looking left and right to make sure that no one is coming uh, and that's just one of the rules that I have made for myself but when you're driving here you've got to watch for every driver around you because you don't know what they're going to do and as I say it's very distressing very sad and uh, but if it'll stop one of you guys who are watching this from doing something stupid if you do come here and you make a mistake that could uh, cost you dearly uh, it's worthwhile looking at oh my back oh yeah oh man hey uh, the, the man died instantly as you could see he waited seven seconds after the light turned green before he drove across the intersection he didn't look right uh, or left because you've got to look left as well because people come down the wrong side of the road also um, and uh, he paid with his life so yes if you're here and you're going to drive be aware you've got to look for not just what you're doing but what every driver around you is doing so let's go for a walk around Wahin and I'll show you how safe I believe Thailand is compared to many Western countries and some of Thailand's Asian neighbors so this is uh, just next door to the hotel I'm staying in uh, it's now um, 6 30 on the morning and this is what's classed as locking up a shop in uh, some places in Thailand. A couple of pieces of wire across here. Um, but everything's just left. This here is where I normally get my fruit and bananas from. And uh, uh, no slide down steel shutters. Just to, They just put a green netting across to lock up and leave all the bananas behind there. So this is quite typical of Thailand. Um, you don't lock everything up when you close up for a night you don't have security guards you just uh, put this green netting across so this is a, another place this is a bar so, so yeah, about seven o'clock in the morning now and uh, everything's just left you just close up on a night leave the microphone there not sure if they lock the fridges up but uh, 
you can see they're not worried too much about people coming and stealing all their chairs and tables or electrical equipment. See so another couple of places here, just on the Soy 94, all closed up, no one here, but uh, everything's just left. Um, if this was the UK, Australia, USA or many other Western countries, you'd have to put shutters down or you'd have to make sure that everything was locked away. But now they just leave everything there and uh, walk away every night and they know everything's going to still be there the next morning when they come back. Another one here, I go to this one quite regularly, this bar here, as you can see, we've got the green netting there to stop people walking in, but everything is just left in the bar behind um, without uh, putting anything away or locking anything away. That's all you have is this green netting to keep people out, and as I say, I can't imagine you would do this in many places uh, in the west uh, you'd come back to your shop the next morning and everything would be gone this is the uh, wonderland bar area on soy 94 and uh, obviously closed up now it's early morning they close around about two uh, but just to give you a little bit of a, an example here um, this bar it's closed up for the night, they've just left all their cushions there, all their uh, condiments, everything like that. The bar fridge is locked up, obviously, but the, then the whiskies and all the spirits that would be on there, behind there, have just been covered over with a cloth, so people can't see them. Now, can you imagine doing that in New York, <laughs> leaving all your spirits out and the shop open? Um, take you for a little walk over here it'll be the same here the beer fridges will all be locked up obviously uh, they don't want to tempt fate uh, but if you look behind the bar you'll see that all the cushions are left all the glasses are there all the everything apart from the alcohol is, is just left out no. and here's a shop on soy 94 it sells plants indoor plants, outdoor plants, uh, fertilizers and uh, it's closed up now because it's too early on a morning uh, but as you can see uh, but they've left the fountain on all night and they've left all these things here uh, in the open no shutters, no locks to lock the doors or well no doors and uh, anyone could just come in and they would in the UK, uh, USA and many other countries they would, they'd come back the next day and the big truck would have pulled up and loaded it all on and stolen it all, uh, but here it's just left in the open. So it is, it's amazing that the trust uh, that the people put into uh, Thailand, they know that uh, they can do this, they've probably been here for years and never lost anything. Well this shows how uh, different it is here in Thailand. Um, I know if I was living in the UK, Australia or uh, USA, uh, I wouldn't be able to leave my helmet on the bike, it'd be gone by the time I came back. But here look, they're leaving shopping bags, helmets, clothing, their coats, if it's raining they just leave it on the motorbike and it's always there when, it come, when you come back. It's never uh, stolen. People aren't that desperate here I don't think they don't have much money but uh, as I say in the UK they'd be stolen and um, put on eBay they'd be up for sale on eBay and I see there people leave clothing helmets shopping and uh, it's always there when you come back many times I've left my keys in the motorbike and uh, forgotten about them I've done do it on purpose uh, but then I realize I rush back and it's always there people see the keys they could just drive away in it but they don't so that's one of the good things about uh, living here uh, I feel a lot safer living here and I feel
regularly at night uh, to places like here, Bad Kumpo, um, Tamarin Market, Skada Market, Soy 94, Interban, many places and uh, I feel very very safe going to those places at night time. Of course you still have to take precautions, um, I don't go uh, anywhere where it's unlit, I try not to uh, go to an ATM. Uh, on an evening, I get the money out in the daytime rather than uh, go on an evening when there's not so many people around. I try to stick to well lit areas and uh, when I'm walking, because uh, the roads are so dangerous here, I try to wear light clothing and uh, walk with the, the traffic coming towards me. In all the years I've been coming to uh, these types of places in Thailand, I've yet to encounter a problem. I have seen uh, with expats a few scuffles with a little bit of shouting and pushing and pulling, uh, mainly in the bar areas, uh, fighting over a lady or something. Uh, but in these places, which are uh, mainly for Thai people, I've never seen Thai people get involved in an altercation uh, with themselves, with other Thais, or with uh, Ferran. They tend to just go out and enjoy the food and the music. So, in summary, is Thailand a safe country to visit or to live in? For me, yes, it is, because I've never had a problem in Thailand on the many occasions I've holidayed here or over the last five and a half years that I've lived here. A lot of reasons that crime is low here is because of the Thai people's Buddhist beliefs. If you want to come back as a rich and successful person in the next life, you've got to live a good life in this life. And uh, this shows in the way that many people live their lives. It is changing now. I do find that uh, uh, the, the newer generations coming through aren't so uh, religious, so that may uh, impact on how safe Thailand will be in the future. But at the moment, I still find it very, very safe. I don't find it any different than the, uh, the day I came to live here five and a half years ago. You still have to take the same precautions that you have to do in your own country and be careful not to put yourself in a compromising position. Uh, but I feel safer here than in most countries that I've lived in or visited over the, the years. So if, like I was, before I moved to Thailand, you're sick of your own country that's getting more and more bored by the day and where your rights are being slowly taken away from you by your so-called governments, where the country that you were born and grew up in is deteriorating so much that you don't even recognise it as your own anymore. Maybe it's time to consider retiring overseas. If that's the case, take a look at my new book, The Retiring Thailand Handbook 2023. It's filled with everything that you'll need to know about living in the land of smiles. Or, if Thailand doesn't rock your boat, take a look at my book, The 10 Best Countries to Retire to on your pension. Thailand, Malaysia, Vietnam, Cambodia, Bali, Indonesia, Spain, Portugal, Costa Rica, Belize and Panama. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.